Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Check out the new do, at least a little temporary do just for today. I actually did an Instagram live stream cutting my hair. I only cut off like a little chunk in the back where I kind of had like a mullet growing in because I'm growing my hair out from when I used to like wear it in the finger waves. So I just cut that little back part off. This is what I'm left with as far as styling. I straightened it and you know, it's giving a little bit speak to the manager. It's giving a little bit presidential first lady you know it's not my typical style although i have had this hairstyle before if you've been following me for years and years and years you know that like this is not new don't get too caught up in the hair it's just hair and i'm just in a little in-between phase right now i'll probably have a wig on by tomorrow but if you want to see the live stream of me kind of cutting and styling it it is on my instagram it is a sunday afternoon 102 degrees it is 4 45 p.m it's been so hot all day unless you wake up super super early in the morning and even early in the morning it's already getting hot but long story short it's super hot kind of too hot to even be playing outside so zaya has been inside all day cooped up bored i just been bored messing around with my hair cutting my hair we're bored our friends are out of town my parents are out of town we're bored and lonely and we need something to do so i thought of an idea. Told Zaya to put some clothes on. We've been in the house all day. I'm gonna slightly fix up her hair a little bit so it's decent to go out in public. And we're gonna go somewhere. I have an idea. I guess you, the viewers, already know where we're going if, cause it's probably in the title of this video. But Zaya doesn't know. It's a surprise. Are we going to Kenley's house for a play date? No. Don't get your hopes too high. It's not that cool. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so I did a very quick lazy <laughs> job on Zaya's hair, but that is definitely good enough. Okay, so where we're gonna go today is the dollar store. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not that exciting, but remember a long time ago, we did a dollar store shopping spree. Do you remember that? You don't remember that? That was a couple of years ago. So maybe you're only like three years old, but we did a Dollar Tree shopping because everything at Dollar Tree is only $1 each. So you can get a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. And they have arts and crafts. They have toys. They have activities. Nice. They have coloring books. They have all types of stuff. So I think we should go there. We should do a Dollar Tree shopping spree. And we should see what kind of stuff we can get to cure our boredom today like crafts, games, activities, that type of stuff. And probably we should donate my stuff so I have room for new stuff. That's a good idea. Should we go look at what you can donate right now? All right, so show us what you got in here. Ooh, Lord. So what kind of stuff do you have? I have erasers, I have Barbies, I have Barbie houses, I have baby dolls, I have baby doll stuff. Oh, and I made this fort. Bushi's going into your fort. So what kind of stuff are you gonna donate? Cause you have a lot of stuff in here. You have stuffed animals, baby dolls, a lot of Barbies, buildings, establishments, and houses. You have a whole city's worth and the vehicles. Let's pick out three things that you can donate. I think you have a lot of Barbies and I don't think you play with all those Barbies. So I think you can at least pick one Barbie. Do you wanna keep her dress or are you gonna donate that dress too? I'm gonna keep her dress so I can take it off. What about the, what's going on here? Malachi did that. Is that true? Yeah. Well, is this a donate then? Yeah. Put the marked up Yoda in the pile. Now that's two. Now let's pick something else. Maybe, maybe there might be some dress up stuff because you really don't even do a lot of dress up these days. I don't like Doc McStuffin anymore, so I'll get my You're gonna donate your Doc McStuffin's outfit? Yeah. Because that's a little too. Now I'm like big for that now. Here's our donation pile for the day. Let's go to Dollar Tree. Wait, so everything at the Dollar Tree is one dollar? Yep. Well, technically a dollar and twenty-five cents. Now they raised the price a little bit. <laughs> Abby, would you rather be a YouTuber or a YouTuber? Chicken nuggets. Get in the car. 
just pulled up to the Dollar Tree. Now, here are the rules for the shopping spree. We are going to focus on getting things that we can do together. We're not going in here to just buy a bunch of random toys. Obviously, from what y'all just saw in her playroom, she has plenty of toys. Maybe we might get a toy or two, we'll have to see. I mainly wanna look at like the arts and crafts stuff and like more like games and activities type of stuff. Maybe some outdoor stuff. I know they have like some summertime outdoor things to do we just need more stuff to cure boredom and like I said it's just super hot today we've been cooped up in the house so this is also just just trying to get out the house and go into an air-conditioned establishment when it's a hot day and you're trying to get out the house you could go to the mall but you can also go to the Dollar Tree go to the mall possibly spend hundreds of dollars go to the Dollar Tree get everything you need for 20 bucks hey sound like a good idea to me Let's start in the front and work our way around. We got some summertime stuff. This Dollar Tree location always tends to be a little bit more cleared out. We might need to go to a second location after this. I don't need this baby water. We actually need a full size watering can for actually watering real plants. We already have so many water guns. Those are just diving toys for the pool. We already have a lot of those too. Cause we got so much stuff for your birthday. Um, that is a hummingbird feeder. I don't know if we get hummingbirds over here. I guess we could try it, but we need the food for it. Does it have the food? What are you supposed to put in a hummingbird feeder? I don't think I need anything from this aisle. What's this, a glider? They love to not put instructions on stuff. <laughs> a boomerang? We don't have one of these. I think we should get that. That's a good outdoor toy that we don't have. Well, boomerang, she comes straight back to you. But I don't know how to catch it yet. It takes practice. What's this? Ooh, a bug catcher set. Would you catch bugs with this? <laughs> Is that a no? Yes. You don't want to try to catch some bugs? No. Why not? I do want to catch a butterfly. A butterfly? I don't know if you can catch a butterfly with that little thing. Wait, what's this? This is a different one. Oh, and then you can put the bugs in there. I want this one, that's better. I feel like I need this to scoop little things out of the pool. Cause we have the big pool scooper, but sometimes you just need a quick little scoop. They have some decent little sticker options. Those are silly. Do you like these princess stickers? Yes. And what about the LOL? Yes. Put the stuff in the basket. Is that a coloring book? You like that one? That's right. Okay, put it in the cart. Here's the other activity books and coloring books. Okay, well let's pick three books. So you already have two in here. That one? All right. Ooh. Found the Barbie stuff. This stuff is not $1.25. You see these signs right here? Yeah. Everything in this section is $5 each. Puzzles. Yes, you do love puzzles. You do puzzles all the time. You're just saying that because you want the Barbie. And I already told you before we came in here that that's not what we're doing. So do you see any puzzles or games right there that you're interested in? Because remember, we're looking for things to do, not just to have. That is, what is that? Paw Patrol Play-Doh. We can do it together. Mm, I don't know. You have so much Play-Doh stuff that you haven't even tried yet. They have crafts and things that you can paint. This is a nice little watercolor kit, better than your little Crayola one that you have. Foil flakes. Pre-mixed pouring paint. Remember when we tried to do the pour paint? <laughs> good times. Okay, here's a good aisle. All the rest of the arts and crafts stuff. These are pretty stickers. You like those? I don't really like those. I like these. I like these. I actually don't like these. <laughs> Oh, they have these little chalkboard stickers. Wait, I'm getting these. I use these type of things for a lot of stuff to like label stuff with the chalkboard marker. And actually, do they have chalkboard markers? Cause mine are all dried out. Oh yes, chalk marker, I need that. Oh, well, that's like a little box that you can decorate. Are you gonna get that and paint it? Let's yeah. pick one, one thing to paint. Did you look at all the options? All these signs, picture frames, boxes, statues. They have a lot of stuff, so make sure you choose one that you really like. That one, you sure? Yeah. 
What is that? Like these little jars and they look perfect for like, I can make Play-Doh cookies and then put them in the jars and give them to my Barbies. Oh, jars for Barbie food? Hmm. You know, when I was a kid, I used to make little things for my Barbies out of modeling clay. Like I would make little tiny things out of clay, like different types of food and stuff. How old were you? Probably like 12. <laughs> I still played with Barbies when I was kind of an older kid because I really love Barbies. Look at these cute little Zodiac hair clips. Aries for Zaya, Virgo. Let's get these. Y'all, it's a miracle. I'm about to buy this whole case. I'm not even kidding. I'm getting the whole case. I can never find the spicy chicken flavor anywhere. I've even checked here before and they didn't have it. I even looked on Amazon, but they were charging a ridiculous price for it. I haven't been able to find these for so long. This is my favorite flavor. We got what we wanted from the, at least the first Dollar Tree location. I'm still considering going to the other Dollar Tree location because they always have like different stuff at every location. But in the meantime, it's about dinner time and one of my favorite burger spots is right over here so i think we're gonna go get some dinner first and then decide if we need more dollar tree in our life the baby not hungry she's been asking for 500 tacos in one day today well she's really hungry come on let's go eat you gonna share your food with her to sit in the outdoor patio. They have these fans going, so it's not as bad, but it's so hot. But we had to sit out here because it is super busy, so the inside area is like cool. They have those fans, though. And I got a burger. It was literally too hot. Even with those fans blasting in that little outdoor patio space, it was too hot. I felt like I was starting to sweat my little bob out. It was so hot in there. I literally was like, let's take our food and go eat in the car. Because one thing about this car that I love, you turn the AC on, immediate relief, immediate cold air. We just got in the car, I just turned the AC on. It feels great in here. So we're just having a little car date right now because it was way too hot to be eating in there. We admittedly finished our food and then went right through the Starbucks drive-thru, except I felt stupid because I pulled up to the drive-thru and like nothing was happening. The screen wasn't turning on, nobody was speaking to me. I was like, are they closed? What time do they close on Sunday? I know they're not closed. I pulled up to the window and I was like, hello? And they were like, sorry, our drive is not working. And I was like, oh, because I sure did feel very stupid being like, hello, hello to the speaker. <laughs> so we had to order at the window. I got a strawberry lemonade with my food, but I gulped it down in literally two sips because it is so hot and I was so thirsty. And I just had a taste for more of a fruity beverage, another fruity beverage. I wanted the new pineapple refresher, but of course they were sold out. So I settled for the mango dragon fruit lemonade one. I really wanted to try the pineapple one. This is so sour. Zaya also ate all her food, so she got a cake pop. We are gonna go to the other Dollar Tree location just to check out what they have because they always have like completely different stuff. So we're gonna go check that out. Dollar store numero dos. Let's see if they got some different stuff or some stuff that's, to complement the first stuff we already got. Look at all this tropical summer fun stuff. They didn't have all this stuff at the other one. I always get a lot of party stuff from Dollar Tree. Jump rope, do you know how to jump rope? No. Have you ever tried it? No. Do you want to try a jump rope? Yes. A Minnie Mouse or princess? Princess. Oh look, bubble flying disc. You'd like dip it in bubbles. Oh, it's a flying disc, but you dip it in bubbles and when you fly the, that disc, the bubbles fly out. That's kind of cool. Ooh, giant checkers for $5. Ladder ball game set. Whoa, what's this? It's a sprinkler. Oh my God, Hungry Hungry Hippos. I used to like this game when I was a kid. I know that game. You know this game? Yes. Where have you seen this game? It's a McDonald's toy, I once had it. Really? Yeah. 
This is like a cheapo little $5 version. Oh, trouble. It's fun getting into trouble. I never got this before. Yeah, but like I said, you have plenty of Play-Doh stuff. But I like that ice cream. You gonna give me five of your own dollars for that? Yes. You see how small it is? It's gonna be a little mini ice cream thing. See how small that box is? It's not gonna be a big thing. That's worth five dollars to you? Wait, does it just cost one five dollar bill? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to spend your money on. They got cat toys for Bougie. This is for Bougie dog, not Bougie cat. Well, we don't have a Bougie dog. They have glitter paper, three pieces for a dollar twenty-five. Is that even a good deal? Look, this location has these type of stickers. Like the different shapes. These are actually better shapes. I'm gonna get these two. The other one, they were just like circles, but those will come in handy. They have a lot more sticker collection at this location. I need to start just coming to this location instead of even going to that other one because they have way better stuff. Stencils. You know what stencils are? It's like you, you paint inside of it to make that shape. You wanna get that? Yeah. Mm, look at these little Barbie nails. But they're so tiny. Your fingernails are tiny. Those are even bigger than your nails probably still. They actually do have model magic. This is what I was talking about earlier. You can use this to make little things oh, for I, your Barbies. Oh, this other type like, of clay. Are they like different colors? No, this is just white and then you can use markers or paint to color it after it's dry. Ah. We have some more little kids crafts over here. Good selection of party stuff too. I think that's it. We got a good amount of stuff at the first location, so. We're back home now, so we can do our Dollar Tree shopping spree haul and show you everything that we got. From the first location, we spent like, it was like 35 and then like 15 at the second location. So all together, it was about $50. $50 worth of stuff here. So let's see what we got. This first bag right here is all just Spicy yakisoba noodles because these are my favorite noodles out of every type of ramen, every type of instant noodle you can think of. This is really the only one that I really, really like and they have been sold out everywhere. So I literally bought every single one that they had at the store, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I also got these little popcorn snacks. Why are kids born with the instinct to approach snacks in the same way. They always say, I've never tried those, or I tried them. They don't say, can I have one? They'll say anything else besides, can I have one? Mommy, can I have one, please? <laughs> All little kids do that. And it's not something that they're taught to do. I've never taught her to say that. They like popcorn chips. Mm -hmm. Popcorners, kettle corn flavor. These are good. Also got this little butterfly net, but I'm gonna use it to scoop things out of the pool. <laughs> like I have that big giant pool scooper thing, but sometimes you just need a quick little, quick little scoop. And I feel like this might actually come in handy to keep out there. I know they make like more legit nets for that type of thing, but hey, for a dollar, might as well just get that. We got all the stuff for Zaya. Three more bags of stuff. So the main goal was to get stuff to cure our boredom, not just today, but like next week, Zaya is actually gonna be off from school for a whole week as like her little mini summer break. Um, Cause she is doing like a summer school, summer program. So she's going to school throughout the summer, except for this one week. So we kind of have a few different categories. Let's categorize it first and then we'll show y'all. First we have the sticker pile with all the stickers. Here's the butterfly stickers. These like pink stickers. Those are unicorn stencils. We have the, these princess stickers. We have these Alabama stickers. And we have these like these stickers. Okay, and what are you gonna do with all those stickers? How's that gonna help you not be bored? I can like make little arts and crafts with them and make like cute little notes and stuff. Okay, and then can you tell me about this pile right here? What are those? Book pile, we have this LOL coloring book, we have this Raya Disney coloring book, we have this other LOL coloring book, and that's it. Okay, so maybe you can use some of your stickers with those coloring books and you already have plenty of crayons and pencils and markers to use with those, right? Next we have the paint pile. 
this little thing you can paint. Okay, new set of watercolors. Little thing that you're gonna decorate, so maybe you can put some stickers on that. So she just wanted to get something to decorate. We have plenty of stuff in the craft room that she can also use to paint and decorate. And then we also have like a lot of different paper pads and just different types of paper that she can use these watercolors on and she can even see if the watercolors will work in the coloring books, depending on the paper. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, just painting, coloring, that's always good to keep them busy. Add some stickers into the mix. And then also in the arts and crafts area, she wanted to get these little mini jars because they're like the right size for Barbies. And I was telling her how when I was a kid, I used to take model magic clay and make whatever I wanted. So whether it was a hot dog or a pizza or a tube of lipstick or whatever little thing, like especially food and stuff. So like, for example, if I had these little jars when I was a kid, I would probably say model magic and I would probably make like little pickles and put it in the jar. So now you have a jar of pickles. Or what else comes in a jar? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, okay, what else? Candies, so maybe gumballs. You can make tiny little balls of clay, put it in there for gumballs. And like powdered sugar and... Yeah, just whatever little stuff. So like, I'm gonna show her and help her make some little stuff that she can put. And this is just white model magic, so then when it's dry, you can actually just use markers to color it, or you can paint it. Um, so that's what this is for. That's a little activity that we're gonna do, make some little stuff for her Barbies. And I wanted this little Play-Doh. You can make ice cream, like little ice cream, and the back it shows you. Ice cream cone machine. Mm -hmm. It's a little mini machine. Go ahead and open it up so we can see. So it's like a little ice cream maker. You can put this right there, or you can put this right there, and then you just put the little Play-Doh in there, and then squeeze this, and then the ice cream comes out. And it came with two things of Play-Doh. So now that you've opened it, do you think that's worth $5? Because remember, you have to give me five of your own dollars from your own money. Are you happy that you got that for $5? I guess so. You guess so? <laughs> I mean, that'll be fun to play with. You have a lot of Play-Doh stuff already, but I guess so. And then another arts and crafts related thing I got is these glitter paper sheets. So three sheets of pink glitter paper and three sheets of purple glitter paper. And then also these little Velcro dots. So you can just stick these Velcro dots on anything that you wanna be able to like Velcro two things together. So a while back I had bought Zaya these little felt people, foam people, and they're, they come in a bunch of different skin tones. But I got these cause she was really into like dolls and paper dolls and stuff. So originally she was just like coloring directly on them, like draw the outfit directly on them or just use paper or whatever. But let's say you wanna make a pink glitter dress for your little person. You cut out the dress shape, you know, trace it, cut it out. Put Velcro so you can like Velcro it onto the person. You know what I mean? You can make like all these different outfits. I see it in my mind. I have a vision. So I think that'll be cute to kind of up her game when it comes to these little people. She has like so many of them. I got these from Michaels, I think. You can also use stickers to like decorate the people's clothes. She could use some of these stickers for that. I think that's pretty much it for all the like arts and craftsy stuff that we got for Zaya. For myself, however, I got my little chalkboard labels and a chalkboard marker because I like to use these for a lot of different things around the house and for entertaining and just labeling and organizing. Those are gonna come in handy and then I got myself the Virgo hair clip, got the Aries hair clip for Zaya. So that's all the stuff that I just personally wanted. And then the last category is basically the outdoor stuff. So in this pile, we have like outside door stuff for summertime. We have the skipping rope so I can do my skipping rope. We have this little bug catcher set so I can like catch little bugs and butterflies and ladybugs. We have this 3D boomerang and you have a bubble machine thingy. It says that you It's have a bubble flying disc. So you fill up this tray with bubble solution and dip this whole thing in there so it gets all in there like a bubble wand and then when you throw it, supposedly what happens? Bubbles come out. So we'll have to try it to see if it really works. We have plenty of bubble solution. 
but that's a new type of bubble thing that we don't have so we'll have to try that out and yeah that's all the outdoor stuff just because we kind of already had most of the outdoor stuff we already own yeah i guess last thing we didn't show you was just this little container for some of zaya's supplies but that's pretty much it for the haul. Okay, so we're testing out some of the stuff. She wanted to try the jump rope. She's never jump roped before. I'm not even that good at it, but I know the basics. One, two, three, four. Ow! <laughs> my necklace is hitting my teeth. Mm, 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 mm. That's not good. Don't jump, just, just practice the arms. Just the arms only. There you go. Okay, now whip it to the front, stop. Now just jump over it where it is. Okay, now do that again. <laughs> it's hard, it takes a lot of practice. So that's how you can practice and then you can put it all together once you get really good at it. Okay, another thing we wanna test out is the boomerang. I'm scared because if this doesn't work, it's gonna go flying either over the wall into the street or into one of my neighbor's yards or into the pool or something. I don't know what to expect with this. Well, it comes back to you. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? I'll throw it lightly. Ready? What? That didn't do anything. It just went. What a rip off. I don't foresee this doing any like turning around. It's just, it's like just going straight like a frisbee. Cause like with it having three sides, doesn't that kind of mess up the boomerang aerodynamics of like a normal boomerang is only two sides because it's like, that's what makes it boom the rang. You know what I mean? When it has three, it's kind of just like a frisbee, right? I don't know. Yeah. I feel like this doesn't work. <laughs> Last little thing that we're gonna demo for you guys out of our whole haul and then we'll save the rest to play with like next week or whatever. Zaya wants me to show her my skills of how to make the little mini Barbie stuff out of clay. So here are the little jars, which are actually really cute. I love mini stuff. I still love Barbies. If you follow me, you know I love the Barbie aesthetic, but I also just love Barbie dolls. I was obsessed with Barbie dolls when I was a kid and just like making little things and I love little miniature things. Like I just love that whole thing. So these are actually glass. I didn't realize that. So we have our white model magic. Let's open one pack for now because it dries out. So for example, I'm gonna make pickles. What do you wanna make? Like little candy. Gumballs, okay. So just pinch off little tiny pieces if you're gonna make like little candy or gumballs. Think about what that looks like, right? Little balls. Now for like a little pickle. So like for a pickle, a Barbie sized pickle, I would probably roll out like a little sausage shape like this and then kind of slightly curve it like that. So I would do it like that, and then I'd make a bunch of those little shapes. Okay, got three gumballs. Take like something pokey, so I just have this little mechanical pencil, and I could poke a little texture into the pickles. And then once it's dry, you let it sit out and air dry, and it'll kind of harden up. And once it's dry, you could take regular markers and color it. Does it take the long time for it to dry up? Yeah, it takes at least a few hours, if not overnight. Okay, so your little gumballs. Here's my little pickles. I would make a few more of them. Fix the shape a little bit. <laughs> and then when they're dry, obviously color them with like some green markers and you can color these with all different color markers and then put them in your little jar. So yeah, now we have a lot of little supplies and little things that we could do to keep busy. We had a nice little day getting out of the house. Did you have fun? Yeah. Are you happy with the stuff that we bought? Yeah. You still have to give me those five dollars. Okay. But that's it for this vlog, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!